Whoa. Drock here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are well. Today I'm on my Yamaha XT250. It's doing a little shredding, man. I was just down in a wash and it was a little, uh, hmm, what's soupy, I guess you could call it. A deep sand. It was really soft. I was sinking in it. Had to get out of there. I didn't want to get stuck. Could have been a possibility. It rained and snowed all night last night and we got a, uh, bit of a window right now breaking the weather but it's coming back in this afternoon it's gonna rain the snow all night and then snow all day tomorrow so once again the desert is saturated yes sir so I wanted to get out do some riding yesterday I was on the KLR 650 it's it's so bizarre when when I ride the KLR and then the next day I'll ride the uh, the Honda or the XT and it's just how, how it feels it's just so different it's, it's incredible actually but um, that's a cold day today it's like just under 40 degrees pretty chilly I'm all geared up layered up uh, I was drizzling earlier on the ride out but I took the uh, hippo hands off my KLR and put them on the XT they fit no problems so I got warm hands man I love having warm hands. I hate having cold hands. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't have heated grips on either bike, but uh, this is the Rogue model Hippo hands, and I can move it through all of our bikes. It'll fit every single one of them. How cool is that, man? To have a product that can that can be that versatile. I think it's fantastic. It's a great product. They work. They may look a little strange, but I don't care. I like gear. I like gear that works. So, so there. There you have it. <laughs> I got warm hands today. I'm riding. Thought I'd give them a try on the XT, and they are working fantastic. So, so a heads up. You know, if you want some warm hands, and you don't have heated grips, you don't want to put heated grips on just yet, or whatever. These are probably a pretty good investment for you because they can move around. Yeah, I've got no problem uh, riding standing up with these uh, hippo hands. You know. Initially, I thought I might, but um, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Good investment. Oh man, it is just saturated again out here. So I need to be careful where I ride today. I gotta stay on the uh, pretty hard packed roads. I'm gonna maybe try for some wash riding. Like I, I, you just saw, I was, I was down in one originally and I didn't get very far. I mean, the bike sunk and uh, I got the hell out of there. Not today, man. So, figure out what I'll do. I'll get somewhere. I'll get some action somewhere. No worries. Speaking of versatility, you know, I always come back to the XT. This bike can just, it can do so many cool things. Gets you so many places. It will really get you there. And I don't think I really appreciated the XT250 until I, I purchased some other bikes and began riding other bikes, bigger bikes. And then, you know, I come back to the XT and ride, and I'm just like, man, this is amazing. <laughs> How awesome it is, the confidence. I have much better confidence on this bike. Oh, there's a bunch of people back there. I don't know what they're up to. I don't want to... I don't want to... Oh, I don't know what they're doing, but there's a lot of them. Let's get out of here. Anyway, as I was saying... Uh, the XT really uh, is an impressive bike. All the bikes I ride are impressive, and I have a hoot riding all of them. But uh, man, you really, you really can get into some stuff with the XT. 
Okay, tire pressure. So if you don't know, I am running Tusk D Sport tires on the XT250. I'm really impressed with the tire. It works well on and off road. I got it aired to what? I think I got 14 in the front and 13 in the back. And that's working pretty well on the dirt for me. And uh, it rides good on the asphalt. So that's my air pressure note of the day. What is that? Never seen that before. That looks like a fun hill to climb. Yeah, you gotta be a little careful about which dirt road you get on after the rain. If it ain't hard pack, it could turn into peanut butter. And boy, you don't want that. Ooh, this is. This looks rather challenging. All right, well, here goes nothing. Goodness, that's a steep one right there. We gotta give that hill another shot. It was just too much fun. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, watch that big one, okay. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Fantastic! Oh, there's some cool views up there. Let's go have a look. Look at that. <laughs> and here is where you get stuck, right? Huh. We're not gonna get stuck, let's go. Let's go for it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> spot and the gas leaked out not a very good seal on the 250 Whew. all right well uh hmm this shot to be interesting Might be easier if I'm off the bike actually. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. No big deal at all. <laughs> okay. This really isn't that big of a deal, um, but 
I'm actually going to turn back, I think, and head back to where I came. Because I want to do a little more riding in this. I don't want to spend all day dealing with this. So, so, so there you have it. Whoa. stuck for a second I don't think it's the hippo hands huh everything you good in there all right all right throttle sticking I think uh, I bent my hand guard in a little bit I need to <laughs> must have pushed this down that's what I think happened so it's no big deal. It's just the throttle stick is not going to release, so I gotta watch that. Just got a tight throttle for a second. No big deal. This is a challenging road. No doubt about that. Steep, steep. Not bad though. All right, I'm refreshed. <sighs> Chilly again. It's time to go cruise. That's mud right there. Mm. Oh, I can't go far in this. I gotta get out of here. This is peanut butter right here. Oh yeah, we gotta get out of this. This is bad news right here. We gotta get out of this right now. Whoa. Oh no. I'm going through that again. Whoa, whoa.
What a mess. I got just out of these rocks, man, and the tires sucked it all up. Oh, holy smokes. It is no joke. Look at this. I just got, I didn't get far off the rocks at all in that. Whew. I gotta, I gotta spray all this off when I get back. Ah, oh, man. You know, it's, the worst part is if you leave this stuff on and it dries, it's like concrete. I mean, it's terrible. Hey, yay, yay. Good news is, is my throttle's worked its way out a little bit. It's loosened up a little bit. That's cool. Man, it's, it's dumping over there in Pine Valley Mountains right now. Uh, and I'm just getting a little, little dusting here and there. There's actually some blue sky off in the distance. Whew, well, it's been a good ride today, but, uh, you know, it's pretty treacherous out here, man, once it's saturated. we got lots more weather coming in tonight, so, so you know the story with that. Yeah, I had to come back this way, man, as soon as I went down there. You saw that? Got sunk in, man. I didn't even, it didn't look like it was mud either, but as soon as I hit it, I knew. Oh, did I know. Oh, it's a nice loose section here. Oh, I gotta forgive my, my nose is running. It's freezing out. Whew. But my hands never got cold today. Oh, that's cool. Wait just a whole second. Yeah, you just hold on just a second. We gotta go have a look. Where does this go? Hopefully not in any peanut butter. Oh, wow. And I'll be able to get all the, up this stuff, no problem. Ooh. That could be interesting down there. up there <sighs> too much fun man hey is this mud no okay It's so deceiving. I mean, you could be perfectly fine right here. You ride right over there, bloop, you're in it. Oh, that's probably okay. In the distance, the red stuff over there is definitely clay. That's no bueno. Yeah, the red extends all the way up to here. So this is gonna dump into that red clay stuff over there. So I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead right here. I already know what's <laughs> what, what can happen. Oh, 
let's get this girl turned around. Oh, see, it's building a little bit on the tires, but not bad. Do I dare ride through this right here? Check this out. It's one of the old pull tab cans. Beer can probably. <laughs> Look at that. That's from like the 80s, early 80s. Probably maybe 70s or even farther back or 60s, who knows. This can's like 40, 50 years old could be. Hmm. Interesting. And it's in this, this wash here, so it washed down probably from somewhere up there maybe, so. Someone's up there having a beverage and littered. Smells like wet desert out here. Folks, that was an excellent ride. Some challenging spots, no doubt. No doubt about that. Have to go back and do a little more exploring some of the areas uh, when the desert dries back out again. Tell you what, man, when it gets wet out here, it, it's, a, it's a whole different animal. Well, there you have it. Another fantastic ride on the XC250. Can't beat it, man. Folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you're new, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. It helps us out tremendously. Folks, stay safe out there. We will see you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.